Okay, here we are. A rousing part two coming at you. Crypto Vlog, June 30th, 2023. Options expiring. Good way to screw up people with options, right? No, I think they expire. Well, there's the 4 a.m. I don't know, the 5 a.m., the 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. I don't know when. Afternoon expiry sometime or midnight Pacific time. We got some Darabit options, I think, expire around there. So end of month, not only the end of month, we got the end of the quarter and end of the half. I don't think there's H1 options. Maybe there are, but uh, the futures too, June 30th, end of the month, end of the quarter. The next quarterly expiry is September 30th, so get ready. And then December 31st, of course. Um, so what happened in the afternoon in the Americas, I'll tell you. I'll update you Saturday morning in Asia, Friday night in Europe and Africa. Well, I'll update you, sorry, the morning in, the morning in Asia and Australia, Australasia. Okay, um, stupid AOL 2.0 pre-sale, I did it. I was pretty confident it was going to be a rug, but then we're like extremely low market cap. The Twitter account of AOL 1.0, they were using the same account, AOL token or AOL coin, it suspended. So what happens when it gets suspended? Well, um, it's not a good sign for the token, right? Well, they launched a new Twitter account, AOL 2.0 wasn't looking good the contract launched i was immediately down like 30 percent i sold for a loss 40 percent loss and then they sent the tokens anyway for part two and part two was worth like 25 percent. so at most i could have got 65 75 percent out of that uh, amazing actually no i if i sold the top right when the air dropped i could have broke it broke even because no, no, they they airdropped me for forty percent afterwards. So no, I could have made like eighty percent back. So anyway, stupid AOL two point token meme coins. Uh, Fumo's doing well; it's holding support. And now here's a meme coin. It's kind of a utility token. Rollbit. I've never talked about it before. Rollbit.com. I might have mentioned it in passing for the daily news back in February. But it's basically the number one off-chain. I don't know what it is. Would you call it a DEX or a SEX? I don't know. It's like a SEX-DEX hybrid. They, they control everything, but I think you have to buy on-chain or I don't know how it works. Look, I've never done it. I'm not doing a review. I'm not doing an official partnership. But guess who had an official partnership with Rollbit.com? Asaka Trades. Uh, the big H, he, he partnered with them and guess what? Sent the token. Yes, it did send the token from 26 cents to 38 cents, which would be roughly 40 ish percent bounce liquidity, more like 35%. What someone did actually. So he tweeted at 3 PM Pacific time, 6 PM Eastern time. Uh, that would be midnight European time. Australia, even Australia was up, 10 a.m. Actually, a lot of Australian guys sleep in. 5 p.m. in China. 6 or 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. in Korea, Japan. Probably 8 p.m. Indonesia. All that good stuff. So. Two minutes later. Yes, two minutes. There was two minutes. I didn't check the tweet stamp. The APIs are down. For Twitter today, scraping's delayed by a few seconds. So, botting's gonna be down, right? The normal scraping methods are down. The, the regular tweet deck notification system is, is a lie. So, I mean, maybe there are API issues, but they should be Twitter patched the API endpoint, whatever it was, SQL or GQ, GQL, the graph, I don't know, graph link, who knows? So. Yeah, scraping was a little delayed today. If you look at tweets, they weren't botted. Well, maybe they were, but there was a period where they weren't. So anyway, the, Hasaka tweeted, 
And then I'll say one minute and a half later. So I don't know when it when it came in. But on my chart, the minute chart, it was two minutes later. We had we had a small buy of five thousand. Didn't really move the price much. Then we had a big buy of ninety thousand. And oh sorry, a hundred and seventy thousand. And then old Jared stepped in and bought 90,000 right before that guy and flipped for 105,000. So instead of this guy buying at 27 or 28 cents, he was forced to buy at 34 cents, thanks to old Jared. But luckily the price hit 38 cents. I don't think he sold though, he's holding. Uh, roll bit only about 102 million market cap, not sure exactly, so it can send. I think his socket has the potential to get this to five cents. It's at three and a half cents now. So interesting, because he has pumped Everyone's like Aptos, he pumped from a billion market cap to three billion or whatever. Was it Hasaka or was it just the big bull energy coupled with Hasaka? If a Hasaka tweets in a forest or tweets on a Twitter platform and the API isn't around to pick it up and no one sees it, is it really affecting the price or moving the price? I don't know. There's a confrontation, I don't like his stance. Juicy, come on. Forget about that duck. He's been, he's been coming more and more. I guess he doesn't like the throwdown. Okay, so that's roll bit. And then finally, Elon tweeting, replying to CB Doge account. He always replies to that account. And he replied, dogs rule. I'm not sure what the original tweet was, I didn't see. And it sent Doge from 6.5 cents all the way to 7.2 cents. Spot hit like 7.1 and a half. Um, sorry, perps. At least on gate. Um, futures on Binance might have hit 7.2. I didn't check. But still stuck on freaking gate. Because they banned Palau. But I'll be back. Um, spot hit 7.28 cents. Then, of course, it retraced to about 6.84 cents. Oh, oh my god. Sorry for hitting you in the mouth with this. But that was a nice short. The long, who would have held the long that long? A lot of people just like to hold longs. Elon tweets are notorious, notorious for retracing. For some reason, this one isn't retracing that much. Maybe it's a big bull alt energy weekend. We had Bitcoin actually recovered the 30.7K from the dip. And it dipped again to 30.2 and then it bounced to 30.5, like 30.4. And stopped out twice on my long, ridiculous. Um, Stops too tight. I'm entering too late. I just wanted to catch a breakout. It's not gonna happen tonight, I guess. Maybe tomorrow we go back to 31.2. Maybe we break 31.2 again. We'll see. Okay. So that's the news. There are a bunch of coins that people long. ETC I hit, think hit like 2270 or so. It just it had a dolly back. Then it corrected. Then it made a new high. From like 20 something. 20 point something all the way to 22. So, um, is it time for the words of inspiration? Yeah, let's talk about it. So losing, how do we handle losses? Well, you just have to do better. I think I may have stated this earlier. Do better, work on your scripts, work on your code, allocate funds properly. A lot of people can't allocate. Guess what? Partner with someone that has funds. Work on your notification. If you have the hustle but no funds, there are tons of people that are willing to partner with you if you can show them, look, this, this, and that. But if if you're just saying, oh, the, this coin's going to go up, look at my hit rate, it's really hard to have over like a 50% hit rate if the coin's going to go up. Because um, a lot of people who trade t the TA and momentum, like I said earlier, they might have a 40% win rate, but the PL rate might be 70 or 80%. So if your PL rate is high, sure, maybe you can you can show that to people, show them the chart, show them the data. These are your calls, but it's really hard to get someone to invest just with random calls. It's not based on news, but like the Rollbit one, um, if you sent that to, to a whale earlier with like fifty thousand dollars, they could have aped right away and made like twenty or thirty percent. Maybe giving you a ten percent or twenty percent tip. So you could have made a couple thousand bucks there, right? Uh, that's one way if you're on the 
on the feet all day. But um, it's another way to make money. Other ways, just being on the news, setting up a notification, push notifications for whales that have money. Whales are looking for news. They're always looking for an edge, a way to leverage their gains, leverage their capital into more gains. So uh, don't be afraid to just let it rip. Work on your systems and then plenty of whales around. There's plenty of people in crypto with money. If you can show you have a proven track record, at least 70% win rate, it's great if you have over 80%, 90% basically unheard of unless you're alpha. If you're pure alpha, you're probably gonna be trading on your own with millions of dollars, right? But 80%, you'll probably be on your own 70%. You're probably borderline between going on your own and needing capital because you're having a couple hundred bucks isn't doing the trick, right? Uh, the hardest thing is avoiding the dumb trades, right? There's there's seasonality. We don't have to constantly enter a trade. I saw um, Loma saying, I want to buy the dip 30.3 to 30.8K to ride the 33K by next week, 4th of July coming up. Sure, why not? Go ahead. But in my opinion, there are a lot better trades. If you look at the news traders, um, like Naughty, Crypto Naughty, he, do, he doesn't trade. He doesn't ape anything but news. He doesn't do these TA trades. He just buys Bitcoin because he thinks the narrative is going to push it. Narrative traders, totally different in a lot of cases. But a lot of narrative traders do news trades. But the news traders are less likely to do narrative trades. The best news traders. Oh, wait, that's your ball. Yeah, where's your tennis ball? Aussie versus Pitbull. Actually, I think she's a Pitbull Border Collie mix or Aussie mix. It's a race to the finish. I don't know where your tennis ball is. Okay, she has a huge lead. She just has to grab the ball. A lot of dogs are slow. No, she ran past it. Oh no. Are you gonna put it in here? No. Okay. I had a tennis ball for it. I lost it. So I gotta pack like two or three balls for this dog. Maya? Maya? Come on. Come on, Maya. Maya? Maya? Come here. Maya! She just gave up on it. It's like, I don't want to fight for it. Look. There she comes back with it. There she goes. Oh, she's coming back to me now. Oh, no, she came back to him. It's too dark to zoom out. So that's one way to make money. So don't give up if you're on a losing trip. I mean, 
Try to avoid the bad trade, sure. Go ahead. So why do why do we even trade? Well to fill the time, mostly. Once we have money, to make more money, sure. But primarily to fill the the time. It gives us purpose, right? And the purpose is to make money. But first it's the purpose, the purpose of being alive, the purpose of doing something that you're proud of, that you're good at, right? And that's trading, whether it's news or narrative trading. Um, or just TA, straight gambling, sure. A lot of people are good at TA, why not? Never been good at it. I've been less than 50%, sure. Uh, it's just, it's just my, not my forte, TA. Um, secondly, well, that's part of making money, sure. So, but primarily it's to have a purpose to give you a sense of self worth winning, right? That's why winnings is so important. If you're losing as a trader, it's hard. You feel down in the dumps. Your neurochemistry is all screwed up. That's, oh, you okay? You need a break, girl. That's just the way it's gonna be. Nothing we can do about that, right? unless you focus on winning. And the problem is a lot of times there's not news all the time. Uh, like once a week, this week we actually had two good news trades, right? The SEC. Um, no, what was it? Oh, Monday, FTT news. And then a little bit of news on Tuesday morning, right? Or was it Wednesday morning? Hmm. Let me scratch my head. I think it was Wednesday morning. So Monday, FTT news that they recovered 7.3 billion Wednesday morning. Uh, FTX is looking to rebrand and restart. FTT actually hit $2.50 or 50 something cents crazy. And then I saw it was down to $1.77. I'm like, come on, what a correction. Did you steal another ball? I don't know. So I guess that's the way it's gonna be. Should I go home? Should I go to, to another park? can't really play basketball I can shoot around but my Achilles is so sore it could be my ankle combination sore ankle and Achilles I don't know where a tennis ball is um so the purpose to make money oh and then so Monday Wednesday and then Friday boom the SEC rejects the ETF and then the, the refile of the ETF really didn't push the price I forgot about that from like 30.4k maybe to 30.6 Did it even hit 30.6? It might have wicked up there. Sucks, I was in a doge long for three days, Elon's birthday. Doge really hasn't moved. Maybe it'll move with BTC. I longed and then, boom, stopped out early Friday morning. Guys, come on, come on. And then Friday evening, Elon tweeting and sending doge. He hasn't sent doge in, in weeks. And finally one tweet sends it, um, 14% or 13%. Come on. Why does this happen? It's it's the nature of trading. As soon as you get stopped out, an event happens. Not really, but a lot of times it does happen. You feel like the whole world, the whole trading crypto gods are against you, right? But just move on. The goal is to be the best, and to be the best, you have to work the hardest. I'm sorry. Very rarely can you cheat your way into being the best. Um, just consistently over a long period of time. And that's botting, working long hours, scripting, partnering with other alpha groups, other traders that do what you do. And if you want to pull a Jared, make freaking 15,000 off one Robit buyer with 15% slippage, or he, he probably made like $30,000 in a couple hours off that Robit tweet, just slipping everybody up. Uh, yeah, you got to be the super best to compete with Jared, right? The Met bots and high liquidity. Hi, how are you? Oh, yeah. You got to give it back. Just taking a break. Is all yours? Yeah. Zeus. Zeus, come on. Zeus. You bad dog.
Hey, she okay? Oh, that's a boy. I forgot. Dude, he just hates shepherds, hates hairy dogs. Who's this? One of these days, Zeus. Come on, Zuzi. I forgot he got too close. He was in his defense radius. When's this? And that, that's a sweet shepherd, scared shepherd. But again, probably not neutered, so it gives us high testosterone and that's signaling. Just sometimes you just make the wrong move and that's it. A bully comes up to you, it's game over, right? You click on the wrong link, you exposed all your private keys. Don't do that, your passwords. Okay, so. Right, we all want to be the best, do the best, but again, we're a victim of our emotions, our impatience, and it's hard when it we're gambling for a living, right? But, oh, look at the ducks. Sorry, you can hear me, probably can't see them. So it's hard to be patient as a gambler. You just, you think your job is to enter every single trade and try to win, but that's not how it is. Patience will be rewarded. Oh, I forgot about Maverick Protocol. So Maverick Protocol finally listed on Binance. It necked, it, it dumped a, well, I did discuss it. It bounced from like 50 cents to 59 and a half cents. Then it necked to like 42 cents. It bounced to 44. It's really not moving up with Bitcoin at all. People are still selling. Uh, I heard someone farmed in the Maverick pool. I don't know how they knew Maverick was going to be a good DeFi pool, but they put $1,000 in, in USDT and they ended up getting the $4,000 Maverick airdrop uh mech c delisted the old massive protocol with the mav symbol and just replaced it with binance's maverick new maverick protocol so interesting how they just replaced the token uh, i wonder if they if you're holding that did they just market sell or just stop trading and you're able to withdraw maybe that but again there's no other liquidity pool other than on mech c for massive protocol mav the old mav so if you didn't sell at $21, you're out of luck. Ellabelle. That's, that's a bag, actually. Where is she? Ellie. That's it. So try to do the best, be the best, and work the hardest, but it's not going to... China plans to appoint a new central bank governor? Why does that matter? Talks to be listed on the Hobie soon. Interesting. All right. See you guys later.